Hey folks, welcome to this brand new YouTube channel called Road Hard Restorations. My name is Steve. We're working here in my home garage and in this very first episode, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the channel and the two project cars featured on it. One is my 1970 Plymouth Duster and a 1967 Ford Mustang. On this channel, we're going to be following along with the restoration of two cars. One is my 1967 Ford Mustang. It's going to be restored bumper to bumper on this rotisserie when this one's off. And uh, it's going to be a really nice daily driver. The uh, 1970 Plymouth Duster here, uh, I've been bracket racing it for the last two years. Decided to tear it down um, and then get it all cleaned up and then back to the track. A lot of the videos featured here will be a lot of how-to videos as I progress through all of the steps necessary to put these cars back on the road. The level of these builds that I'm going to be showing you are going to be what I call blue collar restoration. Really nice daily drivers and uh, they're not going to be Barrett Jackson show quality cars. That's not what this channel is about. I'm going to show you step by step how to fix up an old car. That's what this channel is about. A guy in a garage trying to fix up his old hot rod on a budget and uh, needs some help uh, along the way. Maybe some motivation and encouragement. Um, if you guys have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to leave a comment down below and I'll be happy to help you out. If you have an idea for a video that you'd like me to make, go ahead and let me know. And if it's something that I can do, I'll be happy to make that for you. Let me show you a little bit about the, uh, the duster here. I have a video that I made a while ago before I tore it down. Um, so let me cut over to that and uh, tell you a little bit more about the car. So here's my 1970 Plymouth duster up on the trailer just before a race. Uh, this is basically how the car was just before I tore it down. It runs uh, 28 by 10 and a half, 15 uh, Mickey Thompson drag radials. I have Mickey Thompson skinnies up front, uh, each VT fronts. So I think it's a 24 inch tall tire. Show the inside there. And that front bumper and this tube are fiberglass, and, but the hood itself is original to the car. So the first time ever drag racing was at the uh, zip tie drags, the very first one in Tucson. Really got me into drag racing. So here's the car, that's the original dashboard with gauges I stuck underneath there. I did upgrade the dash, actually removed it completely and fabricated a whole brand new one. Relocated all the electrical underneath the dash, put the battery in the trunk, rewired everything. That's an eight and three quarter uh, with a 410 spool. I do have uh, glass packs on there with the dump just before the axle. Those leaf springs are gone. I did a mini tub on there, spring relocation kit, so the springs are imported. Uh, I got uh, Mopar Superstock springs on there now. What you don't see in that picture there is the uh, trans brake button. There's the line lock and the old wiring before I uh, rewired the whole car and relocated the battery. Got rid of that old carburetor. So there's the uh, the engine as it sat just before I tore it down. All the wiring's been cleaned up. Battery's been moved to the trunk. I put a 650 uh, double pumper brawler on there. Got rid of the Holley vacuum secondary carb. I also upgraded the alternator to a Nip and Denso style. It was half the weight and twice the output. Here's my 1967 Ford Mustang Coupe. It's originally a uh, night mist blue. You can see the paint coming through the uh, rattle can primer that a previous owner had done at some point in its life. Um, might be going with red. I haven't quite decided if it's going to be red or the factory uh, dark metallic blue. It's an A-code car, which makes it a four-barrel 289. Engine's basically stock. Um, all I've done so far is uh, put headers on it and uh, performer RPM aluminum intake and a 600 Holley double bumper. I did replace the uh, factory Ford power steering with a Borgeson system and a, uh, replaced the mechanical clutch linkage with um, modern driveline hydraulic throttle bearing. Uh, it is a factory AC car as well, so that will be going back in because I plan on taking this on road trips out of state and uh, doing a lot of street driving. So in Arizona, you need the air conditioning. Some of the other upgrades I've done is uh, dual exhaust 
and a uh, disc brake disc brake upgrade. So it's just your standard uh, OEM replacement uh, four piston caliper Kelsey Hayes disc brakes. What would have came stock on this car had it been equipped with disc brakes from the factory? Uh, wheels for your torque thrust, 15 by uh, 6 in the front and 15 by 8 in the back. The interior was kind of ratty, still kind of is. Um, I did replace the uh, seats with these Pro Car Classic Series with headrests. And like I said, I'm going to be taking this on trips. So I want some sense of safety. I got a three point uh, seatbelt there. And what would be a road trip without uh, tunes? So I got a stereo in there. Uh, I got the O2 gauge. I got a temporary tack. I plan on installing a tack in that center hole there, which is a smaller one, uh, once I get there. Uh, the car was equipped with a three speed manual gearbox, so I did replace it with a T5 five speed. I just reused the knob and the shifter. I thought it looked better than a, than a big uh, aftermarket one. So that's it. That's my uh, 1967 Ford Mustang Coupe. If you have any ideas for future videos or anything you'd like to see, any how-to videos, any specific part of the car uh, that you have questions about, uh, go ahead and leave them in the comments. And if it's something that I can make a video on for you, I'll be happy to do that. Thanks for tuning in. If you like the video, go ahead and hit that like button and make sure you hit that subscribe button so I can keep making more videos for you. I appreciate it and uh, we'll see you on the next one.